What's up, YouTube? I'm Derek T. You're watching Steel City Motor Vlogs, a little bit of an in the house type of episode. Um, it's a polar vortex outside, negative 23 degrees. There's no riding to be done right now. However, I have been retooling and getting some stuff for uh, the upcoming season once I'm able to get back out on the road. And I'm talking about once the salt and stuff is off of the roads. It's one thing for the weather to warm up. It's a completely different thing for there to still be salt on the roads. You don't really want to be riding on that. It's like riding on gravel and at high speed that can be really dangerous. So in the meantime, I bought some stuff to hopefully keep myself occupied here, some stuff to keep me occupied here. And uh, got this little box here. And so what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to cut this box open and I'm going to play a little show and tell with you. Just a second. Make sure I don't cut too deep. I don't want to damage my goods here. Here's box number two right here. Can you all see that? This is a Ranger X7 Shut up. This is a Ranger X7 drone. And I'm gonna go on and get this open. In the meantime, what I'll do is I'll show you on Amazon the link that I used to purchase this. And then I'll also drop the link in the description box so that you all can uh, take a look at it for yourselves if you're on the market for a drone. And you choose this one. Maybe you'll take it a step farther and use my associate link. And that's a way of supporting the channel for free without any ex without any extra cost to you. If not, I forgive you and we're still friends. Anyway, uh, now that I got the box open here, let's get started. First things first. This is a pretty cool carrying case, which, listen, I'm all about <laughs> bags. <laughs> bags and luggage and carrying cases and everything else. This is a pretty cool one. Even if I wasn't using it for camera equipment, it would be pretty cool. But um, the more and more camera equipment that I accumulate, it's nice to have a nice place to put it when it's not being used. So let's go on and open this up here and get started all right a little bit of packaging just going to set that aside for a minute and let's go to a few of these things here some paperwork a quick start guy so we'll be walking through that and actually what's pretty nice is they offer you can you see that let's see will the camera focus that Anyway, these are QR codes for free video tutorials and walkthroughs of the features. I think that's pretty cool. All right, so a quick start guide here. Um, looks like I'm eligible for a free battery. So I'll be checking that QR code out as well. And we have some instructions. What we probably need to do I'm thinking it probably needs to charge before we do anything. So very, very first thing is, well, let's keep on going here. I'm sure I'm going to have to get it plugged in and then come back to you in a little bit. But this is the actual drone itself. Um, I'm going to go on and take the covering off just a little bit that over there <clears throat> it's a pretty nice size device open the legs all the way up all righty so this is the drone with the arms all open 
as you can see, that's a pretty nice size uh, unit there. And then also it has, and this is one of the things that attracted me to it was that, because I don't know very much about drones. Let's start there. Um, this is all 100% a new learning experience for me. But from what I read, uh, the one thing that you do want is a camera that has a two or three axis gimbal. And this has a three axis gimbal. That's gonna help stabilize your image. And so I was, when I was looking for drones, I was looking for one that specifically had a two or three axis gimbal, um, as well as brushless motors. And this one does have brushless motors. I just, from what I understand, the brushless motors are a lot more, uh, easy to take care of they don't need as much maintenance from what i understand that's been all of the homework that i've been able to do so far all right so here's the drone itself and i'll give you a closer look at that when i get it outside all right i'm going to put that down for a minute all right next thing in the box or in the case rather is the laser obstacle avoidance camera and that mounts on top of the drone i'm not quite sure how it goes on there just yet um i'll be reading the instruction manuals to really really kind of guide me through that process but here i'll open it up and show you i did see it in, in the picture but the obstacle avoidance system that will help you uh not fly your drone and crash it into anything and that mounts on top of the drone uh but I'm not quite sure how to get it open just yet. So instead of fooling with it and breaking it, I'm just gonna practice a little bit of patience and I'm gonna put it back in the box until I read the instruction manuals. Laser obstacle avoidance. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, two batteries. I actually bought two batteries. Uh, I'm guessing that one of the batteries, ah, uh, here it is, you all. Oh, it's taped underneath. That's why it's not coming out. So here's the first battery. It comes out of the drone. And again, because I, uh oh, I think I turned it on. <laughs> that right there um here's the second battery so one is in the drone and again i bought the package that has two batteries in it each battery is supposed to give me 25 minutes of flight time so i'm hoping that i have at least 50 minutes worth of flight time um in batteries i'll probably end up buying a third one just because i'm into having extra stuff um like that this is a cover for the obstacle avoidance gizmo that goes on top um you have a couple extra propellers so in case you lose one break one you have a couple extra propellers and also a usb cable all right so i'll be putting those up and the usb is just i believe this is a usb c if i'm not mistaken um and a small screwdriver for the propellers should you need to replace a propeller. That's important. I'm gonna leave that in that part of the bag. And this is not a USB-C. This is actually just a regular old Android USB, um, which is pretty cool because this is a really short cable and I know I have some longer ones that I can use. All right, um, so I'll slide that in here for now. Um, I'm actually looking at the battery and my battery looks like it's fully charged. Although I dare not try to fly this thing indoors. It just isn't wise. So what I'll do is I'll put the second battery on a charger. Again, we have that second battery here and Oh, and there's the outlet to charge it right there. Okay. All right. Easy enough. Last thing, last thing. And 
Let's see, I've got extra propellers, a screwdriver, USB wire. Here is the controller. And the controller is a pretty cool device. It's got the antennas that, that come out. Actually, I kind of want to do that. And then this will actually hold my phone. There we go. That was easy. So I actually have my phone. Don't judge my screen being all fingerprinted up and everything else. I'll get that cleaned up in a little while. But um, here is the controller. And it's looking like a pretty fun piece of equipment. So we'll get all of this turned on. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna to have to go through and review all of the instructions. Like I said, I'm 100% brand new, have never owned a drone, have never flown a drone before, but I wanted to be able to add some aerial shots to my channel. So here I am with my brand new drone and I'm going to find out how to get everything turned on and then get some stuff outside going on. So. I'll be right back with you. All right, everybody, I'm back. It's pouring down rain outside right now. So, um, and it's the next day. So I finally got a chance to get everything uh, calibrated and charged up and everything else. Um, so let me start with what I've been able to do so far. Um, the drone is paired with the controller and the controller is connected to uh, the camera, the uh, drone's Wi-Fi, and everything else. So actually, you can see that's that's my hand there. And if I wave it in front of the drone, it's actually got a camera on me right now. Let me see if I can do this. You can kind of see my face in the camera a little bit. So um, it's all mounted up. The propellers are attached. This is the um, obstacle avoidance device that I talked about earlier in the video and I mean it's a pretty cool piece of equipment here and then the thing that I loved about it is that it came with these uh, barcodes that you can do for quick start video on YouTube and a features walkthrough video which were both really really helpful in getting started it kept me from having to read a whole 30 page instruction manual so um there's a lot of videos on youtube about these drones again this is the exo ranger 7 drone and controller and what i did was i took one of my old iphones that i don't use anymore and i deleted everything off of it so it's only a camera. To me, it's not a phone anymore. It's just a camera. And I can actually use it with the drone and the drone only, um, or to do like any other um, camera footage that I wanna get when I'm off the bike. So that's how I have things set up. Um, I did manage to get outside and take a quick test flight. So let me take you to that real quick. And this is me standing down at the bottom of my driveway. And this is actually the second flight, the first flight I went up and came back down. And when I came back down, I landed in the flower bed, which got the drone kind of dirty. So I had to take it back inside and wipe it down a little bit. Um, anyway, this is probably about a, maybe a 50 foot view or so. Um, just kind of trying to get used to the controller and the directions, you know, the directional joysticks on the controller and everything else but let me tell you I'm really impressed with the quality of the camera and on top of that I'm really happy that I stayed with my guns and went with the drone that had the gimbal on it to really stabilize the picture that's a pretty good picture that's me looking up at the drone um, because I know exactly what I'm doing <laughs> I could have been looking at the screen the whole time and you know checking out what the camera was seeing but I was looking dead at the drone the whole time um 
this is going to get some people's attention. I know when I'm out, I'm going to have to get into the rule books and kind of get versed at the laws and everything else. It does weigh a little bit more than, um, what is it? I think 249 grams. So I am going to have to register the drone and I'll get to figuring out what the regulations are and do what I need to do along those lines, because I'm sure being out somewhere, somebody will get triggered when they see a drone. So I'm hoping to not run into that kind of trouble. But I mean, I got to be honest with you too. I mean, this is some great looking footage just from, you know, what I'm seeing of the camera. So um, bringing it back down, getting ready to take it back in the house because it is sort of kind of a rainy day. But that's my maiden flight. Hope you all enjoyed. And again, check out that link um, in the description box if you're interested in the drone that I have in this video. Till next time, I'm Derek T. You all take care.